I talk about this in the book, the, the, the extent you can measure wokeness, which is a, diff, a minimal extent, but the extent you can, the decisive year seems to be 2014. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree that some of the things we would call our responses, Me Too, Black Lives Matter, the, or the revival of Black Lives Matter, it was, it was, there was a round one in 2014 after Ferguson. Um, these are responses to cruelties and injustices, and in some senses, they're they are welcome. Um, but I think there's another thing which is going on, which is um, that the advent of social media has created new kinds of communities, and it's created, in effect, new kinds of religious observance. So wokeness is also a revival of the American Puritan tradition, um, which was always, a, which Puritanism was about upper class people policing lower class people. And um, an obscure point, you know, uh, but it's sort of telling. Um, America, Donald Trump says we're saying Merry Christmas again. Uh, I don't know how, how it was in your part of Toronto. I, I grew up in a world in which people said Happy Christmas. And in the British Isles, people say Happy Christmas. Why? What's the difference between Happy Christmas and Merry Christmas? Well, Merry Christmas is a, is a much older phrase that included a connotation of drinking and having sex. And the, the Christmas holiday, as it was known in England in the six, one of the reasons in the 1600s, had a lot of, because it was the quietest time of the year, the nights were longest, a lot of getting drunk and having sex. And that's one of the reasons the Puritans hated it so much. Um, so the, the Puritans ultimately lose, and the war on Christmas is given up, and the upper classes accept that there will be Christmas. But beginning in the 19th century, the middle classes say, it has to be a little bit less, less drinking and less sex, please. And so they converted the word Mary with its connotations of those things, which is something you would say in, you know, God rest you, Mary, gentlemen. You know, the, the, the Mary gentlemen are drunken gentlemen. Uh, but, uh, uh, they began about 1820, 1830. It became more polite, more refined, say happy Christmas with none of those connotations. Um, and indeed, Christmas became, you know, a different kind of holiday. Um, something like that is going on now where, we're, you know, we're trying to, um, educated people are trying to clean up the behavior of others. And, and they're often right, um, you know, uh, do not comment, certain comments you shouldn't make, good. But it's also true that some of us are quicker to figure these things out than others. And the people who are slower to figure them out feel it's not a fair game.